Well, here we are. That's an intro, huh? Well, what's up, everybody? Um, I guess we'll just start from the beginning. So, this YouTube channel is going to be documenting how I go about starting and running a new pressure washing business. Uh, so, to start off, my name is Clint Reed. And I am the owner of Reed Speed Pressure Washing, LLC. Uh, my wife and I started this business. Uh, my lovely wife, Bonnie, shout out to her. She's the best. Uh, we started this, uh, we both were working in the car industry and we have a little one and it's, uh, it's tough. It's, it's, you know, this, uh, this channel is going to be about, uh, so this channel is going to be about what it's really like to start a business. So to give you a little more information about myself, my background, uh, I have uh, 20 years of experience in media. I worked for a large market uh, radio group for a long, long time. I have an associate's degree in uh, computer science with an emphasis on programming and web development. Also, I'm here in Georgia uh, North Georgia specifically, uh, Northeast Georgia, and uh, I moved up to Kentucky. That's where my parents were. Uh, that's where my family's from originally, and uh, my parents retired and moved up there. So I went up there and went to school, and after graduating, um, I was working at a radio station and looking for full-time work up there um in the technology industry you know i was trying to find something to do in programming or web development or uh, it anything along those lines um and corona hit i came down here to help a uh, buddy move and another friend of mine uh that worked at a dealership was like you should move back here and i was like well i'd love to but you know i don't have a job and uh, i don't have a place to stay while i look for a job and um, through combined efforts of multiple people through the group, uh, I ended up moving back down to Georgia. Um, I stayed with a friend. I got a job at a dealership where I met my wife. Um, and, uh, eventually just kind of moved on. And yeah, I did that for a few years and, uh, my wife and I have been, uh, together for about three years now. Uh, we've been married for almost a full year. Uh, we got a anniversary, our first anniversary coming up soon. Very excited for that. Um, she's she's an amazing woman, and and her and my stepson have changed my life. Uh, I never thought I would be a dad. I uh, <laughs> I never thought a lot of things. Uh, but as I told my wife, you know, it's crazy how things all kind of work their way out for a reason. You know, I. I I never thought my life would lead me down this path, but here we are. And uh, so I am in a new adventure now. Um, after several years of working with my wife at a dealership, we uh, we decided that, um, man, I am just rambling. I don't even know if I'm going to use any of this. I'm supposed to be talking about a business here. I am rambling about my wife. <laughs> she would love that. I'll probably leave this part in. Uh, so anyway, let's cut to the chase. So this year, uh, in the winter, we decided we were going to do a lot of work to our house in the spring and summer. One of the things I wanted to do was pressure wash our sidewalks and driveway and uh, pressure wash the house and give it a good house wash and uh, clean the siding and, and that kind of stuff. We bought an electric pressure washer. Uh, and it was good. I mean, it's a good little machine. I mean, it does its job. Uh, but for the driveway, um, I needed a gas pressure washer. So I borrowed one from a uh, buddy. Shout out to uh, Schaffner and the Tarkov Bros. He let me borrow his machine. Another friend let me borrow a surface cleaner he had. And I got to work. And I uh, kind of fell in love with pressure washing. It's like perfect, right? Like you're taking something dirty and you're making it nice, which is right up my alley. 
Uh, like, like I said before, I love cleaning. So uh, I was a detailer when I was younger, a car detailer. I've always enjoyed detailing and cleaning and paying attention to the small details of stuff and making sure it's, it's perfect and nice. And uh, that's just my, my personality. Uh, and it makes me happy, it makes me content. Um, so when I was doing pressure washing, uh, I was joking with my wife after I finished the house and the driveway and sidewalks, and I would love to do this. Um, you know, it's something I, I'm meticulous, so I'm pretty good at. I have a good understanding of it. Um, I started researching it and how soft washing was done and house washing and roof washing and surface cleaning and treatments and chemicals and all that stuff and startup costs and machines and um, I mean, if you're looking at just barriers of entry, something like pressure washing is much more affordable to an average Joe, right? Uh, like I said, we don't have tons of money to just throw around, um, but we were willing to make an investment to see if this is something that could work. Um, so here we are. Uh, investment has been made. Um, I was, uh, I, I ended up leaving my job. Um, and I am currently trying to start this. Uh, my wife is still working. I'm trying to start this. I'm working on the YouTube channel um, and I'm helping take care of little man during the week. Cause uh, you know, anybody out there with kids knows that is a full-time gig. Uh, shout outs to all the house mom and dads that uh, stay home and take care of the little ones. Cause man, it ain't easy. It is not easy. I told my wife the other day, more rambling. You'll, uh, as you come along on the channel, you'll, you'll learn that I like to ramble, but more rambling. I told my wife the other day, uh, never in my life did I ever imagine I would be sitting in a car pickup drop-off line at an elementary school at 7.30 in the morning, blaring country music. I don't like country music. Um, <laughs> while a seven-year-old sings it in the back and, um, uh, I'm chilling in my family mobile, <laughs> taking a little one to school, being dad and picking him up. Uh, I never thought that would happen, but you know, life's crazy like that. And uh, I love the the time I'm getting to spend with little man and uh, my wife. Uh, they, they, everybody's been super supportive of this endeavor. Um, and I really hope it works, uh, not just for me, but, but for them. So startup. You know, what, what, what do you do to start a company? All right, you've got an idea. You're going to pressure wash. What do you do next? Um, so what I did was I sat down and I did research. Uh, I am the kind of person that I research everything. Uh, if it involves me spending money, if it involves me going somewhere new, spending time, doing anything, I am a researcher. Uh, I will spend hours and hours watching YouTube videos, um, doing all sorts of stuff like that. So, <clears throat> excuse me, oh, hanging out in the park here, I might have to move. And we're back. Okay, I had to move. Uh, I am hanging out in a park near our neighborhood, a uh, lovely little park. Uh, I got the trailer and stuff hooked up. I was out scouting uh, neighborhoods, uh, doing some research. But anyways, back to the story. What I ended up doing was spending a lot of my free time and not so free time uh, researching pressure washing companies. So after doing some research, um, I came up with a list of stuff that we would need. I did a uh, cost analysis breakdown, um, put it all into Excel, factored up. You know, I, 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 when, I'm, when I'm doing these Excel spreadsheets, you know, I am by no means an Excel wizard. Uh, I'm pretty good at math, uh, but I am good with computers. So uh, I, I factored up, you know, different formulas to show rough costs, you know, potential gross, potential revenue, uh, you know, and I try and be realistic, you know, um, with, with the, what we paid to start up, you can realistically, if you can land five to 10 decent jobs, you can make all your startup costs back right off the bat. We now have a trailer, we have a pressure washer, we have a surface cleaner. Uh, I got two hose reels. Um, I have 150 feet of pressure hose. I have 100 feet of garden hose attached to a reel. 
Um, I've got a little five by eight trailer that can uh, hold up to 5,000 pounds. Um, and I, just this week, uh, part of the reason I'm out and about right now scouting is because we got all our marketing stuff in. Uh, we did door hangers, business cards, a banner for the trailer, car magnets for the doors, and some flyers uh, to start off. Uh, again, this was all factored into costs of the startup. You know, we figured we'd have to, I mean, you gotta put yourself out there somehow, right? Um, so we figured some traditional marketing stuff would be good as well as an internet presence. Uh, just this week, I finished setting up my Google My Business profile. Um, we are now verified with Google. And uh, let me tell you, that's not an easy process. Make sure you're on that um, as you're starting and you're, you're doing your research and you've got your documents. Um, Google was very thorough. I'll give them props for this. They were very thorough and wanting to see licensing and um, tax identification numbers and stuff. They wanna make sure you are a real business before they put you on their platform. Um, you know, it was a bit of a hassle, but uh, after a couple weeks going back and forth and working with the nice customer service reps, we were able to get it done. And uh, now it's up on the, the web and you can just Google read speed pressure washing and bam, there it is. So that's where we are. We have the equipment, we have the marketing stuff, we have the web presence, and now we're just trying to get uh, some business. Uh, I have done two jobs so far. Uh, I did a former coworker of mine's house and driveways, uh, which turned out great. Uh, I'll put some pictures into the video so you can see that. Uh, turned out really good, was very happy with the results. Um, the pressure washer ran great, all my equipment worked great. Everything worked perfectly for me. Um, and I did, I did a uh, house wash for my parents' house as well. My plan for this channel is to upload a new video each week. Uh, we'll do one a week, uh, probably on Thursdays, Fridays, um, and I'm gonna try and do shorts on YouTube and uh, TikTok on Wednesdays. I appreciate everybody watching. Um, yeah, this is the kickoff of something hopefully big. Uh, it's it's nerve-wracking, it's really nerve-wracking. Um, I'm anxious, I'm nervous, I'm excited, I'm scared. Uh, I got all the feelings, all the feelings. Um, but you know, you gotta try. You gotta get out there, put yourself out there. Take yourself out of your comfort zone, try. Uh, you know, the one thing I learned in car sales is, um, yeah, I was a car salesman. I did it for about three years. I wasn't the best, I wasn't the worst, I was okay. Uh, but I, I've always been a people person. I, I'm good at talking to people. Um, and, and the thing I took away from car sales is never be afraid to ask, right? Because what's the worst that's gonna happen? They're gonna tell you no, then you're no worse off than you were when you started. So you just, you gotta get out there. You gotta put yourself out there. And you gotta step out of your comfort zone and, and try, try new stuff. And hopefully this works out. And I appreciate everybody that's made it to the end and watched uh, as we've gone through here. Um, you know, if you have any questions, you wanna reach out to me, I'll, I'll link the website below. You can contact me through that. Um, you can also reach out to me on WhatsApp. Uh, if you just look up Read Speed Pressure Washing, you can find us on WhatsApp. You can send me messages. You can message me on here. Um, we're also on Facebook, Read Speed Pressure Washing, and you can meet, reach me through the website as well. Uh, if you wanna email me, I'll put my email below. Um, you can feel free to contact me through that as well. Like I said, we are in Northeast Georgia, uh, specifically the Hall County Gainesville area. If you need any pressure washing, house washing, soft washing, gutter cleaning, patio cleaning, sidewalk cleaning, driveway cleaning, um, anything like that, feel free to reach out to me. I'd be happy to give you a free estimate, um, you know, and uh, let's get this business going. What's up everybody? Okay, real quick, before I let you go, I know this is shaky cam because I got put away my thing already. But anyways, uh, before I go, uh, one, I really appreciate everybody that tuned in and watched this. Uh, two, so my plan for the channel, uh, I know I said I'll be doing weekly videos, so I, I will hopefully uh, be able to take you out on jobs with me and show you exactly what I'm doing. Uh, so you can see how I do what I do, you know, 
I'll try and talk my way through the process so you know you understand. So if you want to try this at home, uh, or you want to use uh, professional service, you can decide. But you know, be informative, be helpful, and show some great video footage. Uh, again, thanks for everybody for tuning in. Uh, if you know, you know the routine. You found it on YouTube. Like, subscribe, comment below. Thanks everybody. Oh,